wonderful Mr. Luke Ronsky. All right, so uh, I actually, I gotta cut this short. I'm late for a Kurt Cobain look-alike gig. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I, I've got some big news for you all. I quit smoking. <laughs> about 35 minutes ago. And, uh, no, it's great. Has anyone, it's, it's an accomplishment when you quit smoking. Has anyone quit smoking here? Anyone? Yeah, a couple. I mean, I don't want to, you know, outdo anyone here, but uh, we need to brag. But I've quit smoking 27 times, thank you <laughs> very much. I'm proud of it. Yeah, I mean, you think quitting once is impressive. Quitting 27 times, that's another thing. I mean, granted, some people don't call that quitting. If you uh, quit nine times a year, they just call that smoking. But uh, just what hair is really here. Now, the hardest thing about, uh, about being a smoker is, you know, the labels on the packs. They're fucking brutal. You're about to pick one up and you like read it, it's like, if you buy this, I'll fucking kill your family and shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't mind, you know, you can tell me how bad cigarettes are for me, but like, you know, tell both sides of the story. And let me know how fucking cool I look while I smoke. <laughs> Put that on the labels. Smoking seriously harms you and others around you in a really cool way. <laughs> Smoking kills. Yeah, but you'll look like a badass in your deathbed. Wrinkled with cancer. Still sucking down a pack a day while you're 85. Just yelling out, I fucking party. <laughs> nah, this is great. Thanks, uh, Headlights, for having me here. Mainly just thanks for getting me out of the house. That's the biggest accomplishment today. You know, you have good gigs and bad gigs, but at least I'm not at home watching why the Illuminati killed Michael Jackson on YouTube right now. <laughs> I don't know, have you guys seen this? Like, alright, it's, it's on YouTube, anyone can watch it. It's three and a half hours long. <laughs> I watched all of it. That's just something I did with my time. <laughs> and, uh, no, I don't know what it is about conspiracy theories, right? I think it's because, you know, like, I don't get high anymore, so I get my, like, paranoia fix by reading about conspiracies. <laughs> and then the entire day is just gone. <laughs> Once you get that one, like, trippy moment where you're like, fuck, dude, I don't know, man, that's weird shit. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're just at the supermarket, and inside you're going, like, fuck, that explains the beat it video pretty damn clear. <laughs> Thriller 2, that shit happened. <laughs> I'm also not on Facebook. I'm not proud of this, but I'll share it with you. The other day, I did the worst thing. I got in a Facebook argument. You know what those are? Like some asshole posts something political and you go like, fuck you, man, power sucker, blah, blah, blah. Leave that like eight inch long comment that just translates down to one sentence, I have no life. <laughs> You're probably like me, telling that, dude, I just roasted this guy on Facebook, man. All this buddies will read it, know he's a fucking jackass, it's gonna be great. But I, I seriously think that that's, that's the worst thing a human being can do, is have a Facebook argument. Because think about it, like, at least murder matters. <laughs> Like, you know, you've done something with your time. No, fuck it, that's a productive day. You, like, stab a guy and, like, chop him up into 86 pieces. That guy's gotten shit done. I don't know what time you have to set your alarm to wake up to that shit. There's some commendation, that's all I'm saying. So, uh, no, I don't know if you can tell by my accent, but I'm American, and uh, it's, a, it's a very religious nation, America, really. But, uh, you know, people believe all sorts of shit, but there's really just two religions. Uh, you're either Christian, uh, or the devil, <laughs> and I fall into the latter of those two categories. But uh, it was weird, right, because I, I went to church not too long ago. Uh, I went at Christmas. I went with my parents. And uh, I actually, like, paid attention and learned some things about Jesus. Like, before, I, you know, when I went to church and I believed in God, I didn't pay attention. I would just be like, yeah, whatever, I'm here. 
what do you get? take my card, and stamp it six times, I get a free coffee. Like maybe I was just at Starbucks, I don't know. I was somewhere a bunch of Sundays. But so uh, I was paying attention in church, right? I just learned some things. Jesus, like, you know, for, for all that, you know, the Bible says about Jesus being the Son of God, there's some, like, evidence that contradicts it. Like, it says, you know, that maybe Jesus wasn't the Son of God. You know, it says the night that Mary became pregnant, she was visited by the angel of the Lord. And so I'm in church, and I'm thinking about this, and I'm going, so does that mean, like, there's an angel in heaven that has a suspicious resemblance to Jesus? <laughs> Like when Jesus finally like ascended into heaven where the angels just like hanging out around themselves going, yeah, hey dude, is it just me or does, does Jesus look a lot like Steve? <laughs> and the other angel's like, shut up dude, shut up. We don't ask those questions, man. No, I noticed it, it's weird, but just leave it. It's God's kid. It's God's kid. The other thing, I don't know how I missed this for so many years, but it, uh, I finally realized that, you know, Jesus, of course, was a raging alcoholic. Everyone knows this, of course. It's all over the Bible. You know, I mean, let's think about it. He's, uh, he's 13 years old. He turns water into wine, which is, of course, a good start, let's be honest. Especially if you've got 12 rambunctious friends just following you around. And then uh, he's at the Last Supper, and he gives, he gives his disciples wine, and he says, this is my blood. An explicit symptom of alcoholism. <laughs> Read any pamphlet ever printed about alcoholism, you'll find that in there. And the other thing is, maybe this is just me. Maybe I'm reading into shit too much. But, uh, is it just me or maybe was The Last Supper kind of like an intervention? <laughs> it's got that vibe, doesn't it? Like, maybe all the disciples were there and they just knew... Yeah, we're not going to see Jesus for a little while. <laughs> He's got some problems. He needs to detox in a cave. We'll roll a boulder in front of it. It'll be fine. <laughs> That's what that was. That was the drunk tank back then. They're like, we're not rolling it back until you're sober, Jesus. It's for your own damn good. And then, of course, Jesus finally gets out after three days. And, uh, you know, he's like, I've risen from the dead. It's like, no, Jesus, you just blacked the fuck out. That's all that happened. You don't remember that shit? You kissed Judas. Yeah, that was fucking weird. Pontius Pilate fucking charged you with public drunkenness. You don't remember any of that? Yeah, like, it was a good Friday for you, but none of us had Alright, well anyway, thank you very much.